Yo, what is up, guys? Uh, we're gonna be going over some Genshin today, and not just Genshin, but Yay Miko. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I don't normally do Genshin Impact content on my channel, but I figured why not do it this time around since I was actually incited for Yay Miko because I had a C1 ball for a weapon. So I just got a C0 Yay Miko, got her talent 666, and uh, started doing some weekly bosses with her. And I slapped two piece Thunder Sphere on her, two piece Noblesse Noblige, and through John Lee on the team with Bennett with the Raiden Shogun and just to te te test your damage, you know, protect her and test her damage. Now, as far as I can tell, uh, you definitely want to protect her with a shield of some sort. She's a very slow char casting character. Uh, she does do pretty nice damage, uh, but you do you are very stationary outside of your dashing with your elemental skill. So to keep that in mind, uh, her, her, her casting is kind of like kind of slow and she has no way to protect herself. Uh, at least at C0, I'm not sure at higher constellations, I don't really look, because I'm not going to get them. Uh, she does pair really well with Raiden. Raiden and her just, flunk, they, they just function so well together for a switch comp. You, come, you jump on the field, you drop your sentries, uh, you, then you can just switch off the field if you choose, choose to. Or if you want to have her as your main DPS, you can probably use her as a main DPS catalyst. And just, you know, switch into Raiden to make sure that uh, her elemental skills up always, so you have a lot of electro going on. I do feel like her best comps are going to probably be overload comps just because of all the craziness that happens while those sentries are out. I feel like overload comp makes a lot of sense for her. I didn't test it myself, but just based off how it looks and how it feels, I feel like overload comp may be the way to go with them. Or with the Raiden, Jogan, and Yaimiko. So Bennett would be a good option uh, for you to have for a healer. Uh, Toma maybe as a shielder, but I'm not sure if his shield would be as good as just running like a Jung or a Jingling. Uh, I'm, I might try it. I don't have Toma, so I don't have a way to test him, but I might just try Jingling and go for like a full-on burst team. If I did that, I'd have to replace Bennett. Probably for a shielder or Barbara or something. Uh, probably a shielder, so I'd, I probably wouldn't have a healer on the comp or a healer in my comp then. Because the only like healer is technically C6 Jungli with a shield, right? Toma doesn't heal. I don't think there's any other shield users, just users that would heal. Jean's yeah, Jean doesn't swirl or have a shield, so yeah. I, I feel like the, a fun comp to try would be a Miko Raiden Shogun, a fire character of some sort. Uh, maybe even Yomiya, and then you would just go crazy with their ultimates. You'd pop the Yomiya ult on someone, drop the Yaimiko ult, and then pop the Raiden Shogun ult and go crazy with Overload. I feel like that'd be really cool. Or or what you could do is have y Yomiya as your main damage dealer. And Raiden Shogun and Yamiko as the ones that help her proc overload. But I, I've heard that Yomi is a little wonky with proccing reactions, so I don't know. Just some thoughts on like comps you could try. I do think overload would be really fun and to re really try out. I feel like Yamiko is going to go well with Fish for sure. Uh, Beto for sure, because she wants to be shielded and beta would be a great option for shielding and also give her that energy recharge that she might want her recharge is kind of slow that's why i like raiden with her because it does refill her quite nicely and it just flows uh she does pretty good damage uh she's just a really fun character her dashing really makes the kit feel like it's a lot different than a lot of other characters her ult's really satisfying at the lands can miss pretty easily if you're not aiming in the, in the right direction but on big targets it does land pretty easily and a cool thing with her is you can ult switch to your character like ball or whatever and ult right after because you don't have to stay on the field for her extra additional procs to hit uh you can just switch off the field as the first one lands and go straight into a, a raiden shogun ult if you chose to so yeah the character is great um if so once again if you guys are free to play and you want to know if she's summon or not i think if you have raiden shogun or a c6 fish or a c6 beto beto and you like those characters then yes you should go for him. Just be warned, though, she is a very squishy character, uh, from what I can tell. Uh, the the set that I'm rocking I, is two piece fairy, two piece no plus, but I think I want to go four piece thunder sphere and make her a damage dealer. If you want a more support style, then you can go with what I have, which is the two piece no plus, two piece fairy. You can try maybe even do two piece emblem, two piece as well, uh, two piece no. Well, she doesn't really need energy recharge if we run over with Raiden, but if, not, if you don't have Raiden, she might need it. It's hard to say. I feel like her her set might not, her main set might not even be in the game yet. Maybe she's got her own set like that we might see in the future with some other new character. Because uh, like it doesn't really 
feel like there's a set designed for her quite yet. So it could be one of those Coco Me situations where we just have to wait for her to get a set and then she's really going to take off. But right now she feels really solid. I do like her a lot. And she does pair well with Raiden Shogun. So yeah, no, good character. A lot of potential. I think that she's pretty solid for free to play. I, I have freaking C0 Yamiko with a uh, Lost Prayers. You could also rock Winseth on her. I tried it. It does work just as well. Uh, I, I personally prefer Prayers because I used her as a main DPS. But if you're running her as a switch in, switch in and out character, then Winseth might even be better. So, yep, good character. Uh, there's nothing really bad about her that I can tell. If you guys are like super meta players, maybe. This character might not be completely for you because she might not be at the level of Ganyu or Hu Tao, but she definitely feels more a line, a long line of Zhao for sure. Uh, she's just a bit squishy. That's like her main flaw is that she's squishy and uh, a little slow at times. But if you just use her as an E bot and an alt bot, and you don't really worry about her autos. You're not going to notice anything uh, at all. It's just when you try to cast with her, her uh, her charge decks are a bit slow, but. It's gonna be it for this video guys, just talking about Yamiko and I think she's really good. So if once again, summon for her if you like her, uh, she's pretty good. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.